Surfassen is 28 to lead against Clemson. So we'll start with Jeff and then Mike. Reese, the uh, Northeastern Church was just in here and said it looked like you will the game victory. What, what was your mindset? You know, like the game particularly. Uh, yeah, you know, just having to make plays, you know. I had to do that, you know, kind of throughout the whole game, but especially down the stretch, you know. Um, being just a point guard and leader, you got to step up in those situations and, you know, the team counts on me in those situations. So I just, you know, stepped up and made the made the plays we need to win. Oh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, you know, we just wanted to space the court out, um, you know, kind of give me an, an attacking space, and they kind of switched it, went under, so... You know, played a little hesitation game and got down here and just played through contact. Hey, Mike. How valuable were some of the contributions you guys got from Bond, Gertrude, off the, off the bench? Because there wasn't much going offensively other mm -hmm. than what you were doing. Yeah, you know, they brought they always bring great energy. You know, they're both still in their first year playing, so that's good to have those type of guys coming off the bench, you know, just for the future as well, just to see them be able to play in those moments. It's, it's, good, it's good for now, but also later. <clears throat> Just kind of looking ahead, first, I guess, how good was it to be tested this way and how valuable is it to be playing a good opponent on the road in their gym? Because obviously that's a, that's a little different animal. Um, you're talking about for the Memphis game, right? Yeah. Yeah, um, great opportunity. Um, you know, kind of different styles we're going up against. Um, they're fast paced, like the run, um, a lot of switching on defense. So it's just going to be, you know, a battle who can get to their game first and settle in first and go from there. So, you know, on the road too, that is a, um, you know, it's harder, you know, we got, don't got the fans behind us, but I like to be in those settings. You know, I feel like our team could, um, you know, down the road will benefit from that. The way they were guarding Isaac was pretty much full denial, no, no help. Yeah. But did that open up more space elsewhere, you think? And how can you get Isaac going if a team tries to do that? Yeah, for sure. You know, he's been hot lately coming off the last two games, which is insane. So. Um, made sense why they were guarding him like that. But, um, yeah, I, f I feel like that definitely fle freed me up um, to make plays for myself and others. So, you know, we just got to set more screens for him. Um, I know him setting screens is creating more offense than, you know, it might not look like he's doing much, but just his screening and stuff is a big contributor. Talk about your uh, pass to Dunn on the alley-oop. What mm -hmm. did you see? And, and, and are you starting to get a chemistry with him in that, on that play? Yeah, um, I just, you know, he's always running. So he, he gets on me sometimes when I miss him. I'm like, all right, like, I see you. So I always see him running, you know, always want to make the right play. But that was, um, you know, a great play for him going up and get that. That was a big moment for us. So, um, you know, we always need stuff like that. Virginia goes on a run like that. The other team does not answer. It seemed like every time you punched, Northeastern punched back. What was the feeling like in the final minutes of this game? Yeah. I mean, they're a really good team. I think they're well coached. They got some really good players. Um, and we knew that going in. I mean, we had uh, quite a bit of time to prepare as we're coming off finals break and stuff. So, um, but it was good. Something I've never seen before um, with the, you know, in, in the inbounds play down there that happened. I don't really know what happened, but I think that was part of the run that's, you know, got the fans fired up, got us fired up a little bit. Um, but, you know, it's tough, obviously, when you're, when you're guarding. Um, down into the final seconds, and then they, they make a tough shot. I mean, that's tough when you're trying to go on runs and stuff. And so um, just just kind of a, a tribute to the guys that, that we had out there, just staying with it, um, being continuous in, in what we do defensively and, and trying to get stops. They made it pretty hard to, to find open looks on the perimeter. What did you see from Reese in terms of getting the offense going and carrying the offense in this one? Yeah, I mean, I think especially towards the second half, we kind of – turned it into just me go set a ball screen for him and let him cook, um, which was working. So, I mean, I love it. Um, obviously, he was the guy that was making things happen for us tonight. So it was our job to, to get home open, to put him in, in position to, to do what he does best. And, and that's, what, that's exactly what happened tonight. I mean, he had a, a terrific game. It was really big time down the stretch, especially with that last shot he made. Big yeah, y'all were trailing at half, and then they came out, scored the first seven points. What kind of enabled you guys to get back into the game after that? Yeah, I mean, I think that's tough. Um, you know, obviously, kind of when you come out of halftime and get punched in the mouth a little bit, um, it's tough. But like I said, I think just our guys are sticking with it. You know, there was a lot of positivity coming in the huddles, knowing that, that we weren't playing our best basketball when they were going on those runs. And so um, just, just stick with it. Our time's going to come. Our run will happen, and, and sure enough, it did.
So. Yeah, and you kind of said you guys have more time to prepare for the game because of the exam break, but do you think any part of the, the slow start was due to just the long break? Um, I mean, I'd like to think no. Um, I mean, we got after it pretty good. We obviously took, took some, some rest, um, some days where we could have guys recover that needed it, but, but we got after it this week. And so um, I'd like to think no, but, but we also haven't played a game in 10 days. And so I was just glad to walk away with the win tonight. You hear a lot about Reese's anticipation and timing and quickness on defense. What makes him so effective on offense like mm -hmm. he was tonight? Yeah, you know, I think he's really, really good at once he gets an angle on a guy, just, just keeping that angle and then using his body to kind of to bump and hang in the air and then finish. I mean, he's, it's something that, that I see a lot in practice, and, and it's cool to see it translate to the game. I mean, just him having his way um, with the defense and, and just having the ability to make those one-on-one -on -one plays. I mean, we don't absolutely don't win that game without him. And so it was big-time plays um, from him down the stretch especially. What was the value of, of being pushed and tested the way Northeastern just did? And then what is the value in going to play a good Memphis team, not just play them, but play them in their gym? Yeah. I mean, I think, a lot of, as a lot of us know, I mean, this is, it's, it's college basketball. Times have kind of changed to where anyone can beat anyone on, on any night. And so um, we're glad to escape with a win, obviously. Um, we knew they were a good team coming in, and we knew we had to take them seriously. And so um, I think we've got a locker room full of very grateful guys that we got that. And then just moving forward to Memphis, who's a really good team. I mean, they've gotten, I think they won tonight, and then they just beat A&M last week. And so they're coming off two really good wins. Um, and so, you know, I think we're going to go in and play Virginia basketball and, and, and you know, be grateful with the outcome and, and, you know, take it as an opportunity to learn and, and grow our own team.